Um, hi, I'm Ty, which uh, you probably knew that if you saw the picture at the top of the page. And this is Ingrid, Ingrid Andres. Am I saying it right with the right inflections and everything? Ingrid Andres, yes. Ingrid Andres, that's how I say it. Ingrid Andres, right? yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Um, <laughs> so I will be, so the really what we do with these videos is we try to kind of introduce people to who you are behind the music that they're hearing on the show all week. And really, that's how like I know you too. I only know you from the music. And I remember the first time I listened, I actually think the first song that I heard was Ladylike. Uh-huh. And I was like, damn, like <laughs> such a badass. So, so I'm just gonna try to pry as much information out of you as possible. And we'll share this online during the week and then on Friday we'll know a bunch about each other. Um, but so for me, let's start with Ladylike and let's kind of talk about, cause it's, it's a really like powerful, strong song. That's what it is to me anyway. Yeah. Is that what it's meant to be? Definitely. Um, I wrote it kind of to empower myself, but then I realized that more people related to it and not just me, which is what's fun about songwriting is like you think you're being so specific to yourself and then it turns out lots of other people feel the exact same way you do and you're like, oh, cool. I'm not the only one who feels this way. I love that about you, by the way. I don't know if you know this, but like songwriter first, that's how I feel. Like I want to know why a song was created. That is my favorite part of music. It's like, same. where'd it come from? And I've, you know, I've noticed that. So you have like this massive background um, but to me, like, it just seems like a really uh, educated standpoint because you went to Berkeley College of Music. I did. Um, and then my understanding is when you came to Nashville, it wasn't like, let's focus on becoming an artist first. It's songwriter first, right? Yep. So what is that to you? What did that journey kind of take you on from like the beginning where you go, I want to write a song to what you actually know? What's the difference? Oh, uh, I feel like I think you have to learn the tools of songwriting first before you can start writing about your own life because I feel like if you just write about yourself all the time, it'll be hard for people to really relate to what you're doing. Whereas if you learn how to write like a story song, you can create, you, your story can then become other people's story if you craft it in a way that's more relatable. So to me, I didn't just want to go on tangents in my songs about like me and my life. Like I wanted other people to feel what I was feeling too. So that's why I feel like learning how to write in Nashville helped me kind of create my sound because you know, you have some of the best songwriters in the world here that I got to learn from. So I feel like taking those tools and then applying it to my life has been really, um, it's been really interesting. See, I'm not a songwriter. My wife is a songwriter. Oh, and cool. I like I try to peek into the room sometimes when she's writing. <laughs> but I literally have no idea like how it works. And I think in my head, like, oh, if I wanted to write a song, I'd probably write about this. And I need to make sure that it the vibe felt right. But I don't know the rules. Like I don't know how do you start a line or like does it have to go A, B, like rhyme A and then B and then next line rhymes with the first line. What did you, like? What's the what's the first thing you learned that like kind of surprised you about how to craft a song? Maybe even after you'd already started writing songs as a kid, but like eventually you learned and you go, oh, that's interesting. I never knew that. I feel like well, first of all, there aren't they are rules, but you right. don't have to follow them. You right. know, you can break them. Um, but I feel like the first thing that really was interesting to me about songwriting is knowing that you could have a concept like ladylike, how you could twist it to where it's like, oh, ladylike, but then you're like, I'm a lady like that. It's like, whoa, yeah, word games. And so. a lot of that comes from, if, if I'm wrong about this, like you loved the Dixie Chicks because they're super powerful, like strong, very honest, I think a lot yep. of the time. Um, Faith Hill, I think you had a big, you were a big Faith Hill fan. I wanted to be here, yeah. It didn't really work out for me, but. Who knows? <laughs> what does that entail? There's still time. Yeah. You don't have to marry Tim McGraw. You just sort of follow right, a similar right. path. <laughs> Who's the next Tim McGraw? Who is it? I don't know. 